ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. The Waynesboro Police Department's crisis intervention team recently displayed how they respond to mental illness calls. The presentation was held at the Wayne Theater. It was sponsored by the Waynesboro Noon Rotary Club. Captain Kelly Walker is the CIT coordinator. He explained the purpose of the event. To uh, enlighten our community, um, not only about our efforts to um, help the mentally ill in our community, as first responders, police officers, uh, dispatchers, jail officers, but also to uh, enlighten them of the, the issues surrounding mental illness. Captain Walker says there is a need for more hospitals to treat mental illness patients in Shenandoah Valley. Drugs of abuse um, are often used by those persons who are already suffering with other illnesses. Um, sometimes to mask the symptoms of the illnesses, sometimes frankly because they can't get the prescriptions uh, as cheaply as they can get street drugs. Um, this is a problem throughout the mental health community. It's one of the reasons we have, uh, and if Rich could talk to you, he would tell you that um, co-occurring disorders uh, often is, includes addiction and some of the other serious mental illnesses. He added, Uncovering the mental illness issue will help in the long run to decrease the number of people suffering from the disease. They are people, that they're individuals that need to be treated like individuals, um, that they need to be uh, seen as individuals that we can help in our community. In 2017, Waynesboro police responded to nearly 21,000 emergency calls. Of those, more than 500 were verified mental illness cases. Calls for service are everything from, you know, my next door neighbor let his dog run loose to uh, uh, someone's burglarized my business or an alarm call uh, at a bank or, you know, every kind of call that we can imagine. But of that, 514 of them were for psychological emergencies. One scenario dealt with a mental patient wandering That's away that. from his group home. Hey. My name's Sergeant Sean with Waynesboro Police Department. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Larry. Larry? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, Mr. I'm Ryan with the City of San Park. Larry. Nice to meet you, Larry. Larry, you seem like you're lost. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. No. 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 Group home. Group home. Group home. Group home. Group home. Group home. Okay. What group? What group home, Larry? Take your time. It's okay. Betty. 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 Group. Group. Group home. She work at the group home. Okay. All right. Train. Train. Train, train, train. Train? Over by the train. Train, train, okay. Another scenario dealt with officers conducting a welfare check. Do you think you could do that again and give that, a, give that a chance and maybe help you sort out some things that are happening in your life and maybe help you with some coping skills and just have a different outlook and I think that would be helpful. I, I, I do think it would be helpful. The letter really has me concerned. I mean, clearly you were considering and thinking about suicide, and you know, that's not the answer, and I would like for you to go down with me to the hospital. Captain Becky Meeks participated in the suicide skit. Meeks described how the dramatization benefits officers training for the crisis intervention team. How the role play works in the classroom setting is the student must go through and pass three role play scenarios. The first ones are easy and then obviously as they progress the final ones are what we call the advanced scenario. But these are based off of real scenarios that officers have had to handle in the field. Captain Kelly says while the skits show extreme measures people take to reach out for help, law enforcement officers have to consider mental illness as a key factor when responding to emergency calls. All we have to do is reach out. We need to knock down walls of stigma. We need to knock down um, you know, our, our preconceived notions 
of what that entails and, uh, and, and just help our fellow human beings with the issues that they face day in and day out. In Waynesboro, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.